So, um, let's say you've uh, you've checked the run capacitor. This is a run capacitor, and you've checked your contact or relay down here. So you've checked everything, and everything works fine, but your compressor still doesn't come on, or once in a while it comes on. So what do you do next? I'm going to measure the voltage right here. And you can see it's 224 volts. So that's a problem because if you don't have enough voltage, sometimes it can't start the compressor. So let's first turn off the power at the breaker box. That's off right now. And then let's come down to the run capacitor. So before you touch the run capacitor, it's good to drain it. Um, this is the run capacitor. Short the common to the uh, compressor. Make sure it's all drained out. So that's all drained out, safe to touch. Um, and right here, this is a super boost or a hard start. If you go online, you can look up uh, hard start for uh, HVAC and you'll get one of these. So the way how you hook it up is you can, you take um, this unit and you connect it to the run capacitor and right here it says to compressor. So these two lines just goes to the compressor and ground. It doesn't matter how it's hooked up. So first I'm gonna hook this up to one line goes to common and one line, this other line, goes to the compressor. And how do I know that's compressor? Well, it says H-E-R-M on it. And you just leave it in there or tie it down. That right there will help start up the compressor when there's not enough voltage. One thing about this is that um, these starter hard start kits, these uh, that helps uh, to, to start up the compressor, one thing they do is they kill the run capacitor over time. One thing that you can do to, to, to make your run capacitor run longer is to get a 440 volts rating run capacitor. As you can see right there, 440 volt rating. And that will help uh, it last longer. The best solution is to, of course, call uh, your the city electric company to come out and ask them to see if they can fix this problem and usually they'll come out for free and just check to see what your voltage is and and maybe they have a solution so let's try to turn turn this on and see how it runs this unit just kicked on in one start after we turn it on we know it's working that's it